look at this. There are 1,879 members in my trading group. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day, and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you to smash the like button for me. Trying to get a like spike going, thousand likes a video. That's the goal. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I'm going to keep you up to date daily on everything that's actually important to make sure you're very profitable in the cryptocurrency space. If you want crypto tainment, this probably isn't the channel for you, right? We're trying to make life-changing money. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Red day. Overall market cap of cryptocurrency, $253 billion. Bitcoin did pull back, like we talked about yesterday, 91.75. This is Bitcoin chart that we talked about yesterday, right when it happened. You know, you saw Bitcoin breaking to the downside. And so you have this extended trend line, right, where the price action respected this trend line multiple times. And then at one point, you got this huge volume spike, which confirmed this break to the downside. And then it's just level by level. How far are we going to go? How far are we going to drop? I found this last night, posted a trading group and essentially Bitcoin bearish scenario. So these rising wedges, I want you to see here, this green volume spike right here, probably wouldn't have seen this pattern, but you look at this volume and it tells you, hey, something, you better go look up this candle right here and figure out why. What, what, what made this market react with a bunch of buy volume based on this idea? And it was a breakout to the upside of this rising wedge. Now, on the break to the downside, same thing, huge red candle back here. So let's see another rising wedge. Again, hard to kind of see and pick up on this idea, but what you see here is a break to the downside, volume confirmation. Let volume be your guide. Volume is going to tell you exactly where this market responds, and then you just have to figure out what they're responding to. Okay, so rising wedge, 68% chance of a break to the downside, and it did happen. Then the price action bounced, and you got this bearish retest. So if you're opening a short position, here's where you do it. If you're looking at, you know, getting out of Bitcoin, here's where you do it, right? 91.50 was the target. 91.50. Boom. Here we are. Actually broke down to around 8,900 and bounced. So now the bulls are trying to buy this up. Now you can see we had this long wick to the downside last time. And you, you had a nice little bounce and it just rolled over. So the question is, is it going to roll over again? And big picture, we just want to zoom out here and say from a 12-hour perspective, this is a Bitcoin 12-hour chart. This It's kind of hard to tell exactly which trend line, lower trend line we're, we're dealing with. Price action did bounce right here. You know, it's important that 9,8500 area, this red circle holds. If it doesn't, you can expect 6,800. And it won't necessarily be one big, huge red candle. You typically, you know, this kind of, you just have to take it level by level. But again, 6,800 is a measured move. It does break to the downside. You also have this double top right here, which we've talked about. You've got the 21 simple moving average headed to cross the 50 simple moving average bearish, which typically you'll see how the price action responds to that right here. And it happened. What happened to the price action? Boom. Went from 9,800 to 3,850, right? So 
not saying it's going to be that dramatic this time, but when you start to get these bearish crosses, for example, this bearish MACD cross, which again, like you guys, pay attention to this. Like it's, this stuff is phenomenal how well it works. Bots are, tra bots are trading on these same ideas. Bots are programmed by humans. Humans use technical analysis. Bots use technical analysis. Here, when Bitcoin was at 98.20, you got a bearish MACD cross sell signal. Okay. Pretty much nailed the top in this situation. But yeah, so double top, if this gets confirmed, not a good sign for Bitcoin. So the bulls need a bounce here. I want you guys on your on your whiteboard or your pad and paper that you've got next to your workstation where you're, where you're trading crypto because remember, I mean, obviously this is a business. We have to treat it as such. So pro tip, uh, these are some coins that run together. CDT and fuel, NEO and gas, ontology and ONG, which is ontology gas, strat and waves, XLM runs with XRP, MATIC, FET, CELR. So, you know, pause this video, write these down, make notes, print the screen. EVX, DLT, BQX, GRS and storage run together. DOC and LEND run together. Theta and fuel exploded. And we talked about Theta two videos ago. And you see Theta is, you know, obviously exploded. Mainnet launch, which we talked about. Shout out to these two people in my trading group. This person said, I, I was able to take my portfolio from 4,000 to 14,000 in just a few days. This person stated, oh my God, I just made $11,000. Amazing gains. It's all about to happen, I stated. This is a black swan theory, potentially. The theory of a black swan event is a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise, has a major effect, and is often inappropriately rationalized after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. You know, like this panic situation right now in the world. No one saw it coming. And everyone who looks back and they say, hey, we should have seen this, we should have seen this, we should have seen this. These are all the signs, but we didn't pay attention to them. Now, let's talk about this. Pay attention, Tether, USDT is the third largest crypto by market cap. Now, is this about to pump the market or is this going to be used as a hedge if there is a black swan event, big drop ahead for Bitcoin? Look at this, Tether is now above XRP, by market cap. After a while being in cryptocurrency, there's some things that are just entertaining. And a lot of people are just like, dude, Tether is about to fail. Like, don't use it. And you're just thinking, like, if you're a whale and you want to make everybody stay in their crypto so you can take their money, what do you do? You put out some Tether FUD, right? You make sure Tether, you don't want people to use stable coins. If you're a whale, you want to take everybody's money. So it's just, you have to understand that this space is highly, highly manipulated. We're all being manipulated by the news, you know, by these projects, you have to be able to sort through, sift through the information, figure out what is exactly legitimate. So Tether, third largest crypto. But will we look back on this and say, hey, we should have seen these signs coming. Is this one of the signs that we're talking about? Is this one of the signs? The amount of Tether in this market has increased dramatically over time. If Bitcoin dominance continues lower, these altcoins are going to cycle higher. Like the altcoins have been doing amazing. And I'm saying probably most people aren't going to see this. Probably most people are going to look at this market. The herd is going to see this and they're going to say, wait, Chris, what are you talking about? These are all red. These are all red coins. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? How do the, what are the altcoins doing? I don't see anything. Again, it's all about how you perceive and understand this market. Look at these small cap altcoins are popping. 30 Satoshis, 10 Satoshis, 23 Satoshis, 12, 5, 31, 12, 14, 36. There are points, everything up 133%, 60%, 30, 20, 20, 20, 19, all the teens. A page full of double digit gainers on Binance. Amazing returns. Most people don't see this. Retail, the herd gets stuck right here. Well, the top 10 or 15 or 20 coins, the money is made in these smaller cap altcoins, they explode. They explode when they start to when they start to run. So just be mindful that you might have to have more of an open mind and understand that there's a lot of things happening in this market that people overlook and you need to pay attention to it. But now just to finish this idea, Bitcoin dominance, if this continues to roll over these altcoins on a grander scale, even the large caps will start to cycle higher. Okay, your, your smaller micro caps move a lot easier. They're smaller caps, right? They, they doesn't take a whole lot to move a, a, a you know, twenty million dollar market cap coin, eighty million dollar market cap coin versus a billion dollar top crypto. Even now, 
if Bitcoin's pulled back to 9,000, they didn't apparently get the memo. Look at all these gains. Huge greens everywhere. Life-changing money. Here's Poe. is set up by Posted in Group. Just I want you guys to understand this. Like, what makes these coins move? What, what, what are we looking for in these? Buy the breakout is the idea. The aggressive buy is a retrace to this lower trend line. On these falling wedges, you can buy the bounce on these on the, on the lower trend line and be very profitable, okay? So if you don't buy the breakout, you're buying the bottom of the patterns. That's where whales and institutions buy. And then essentially they're just trading the range. So there's a lot of upside here. If you buy at 10 Satoshis and you're, you're selling it at 20, that's 100% gain, boom. Po up 70%, 80% at one point. And so what I want you to notice is this yellow 200 SMA, and I talked to you guys about this and I'll continue to talk to you about it until you're rich, until you're making life changing money because it works. Bots trade on this idea. These falling wedges break out to the upside 68% of the time. They do not break lower very often. And when they do break lower, it's catastrophic. What do you think about this timing? So Jared Tate came out and he said, to all the trolls, fake news, crypto media, and there's a lot, and there's a lot of trolls. I feel like everybody in this space is just like ticked off. It's crazy. Like this space is toxic at times. So Jared Tate, DGB creator, uh, he said, I'm stepping away from social media and taking a well-earned summer sabbatical. Doesn't equate to selling everything and leaving forever. Notice he said selling everything, which maybe leaves it open to selling some of it. I hold 99% of all my crypto in DGB. He never said he didn't sell any DGB. He just said most of his holdings are in DGB. And then he said that he always will have a ton of DGB. He said it's time for DGB to shine on its own. What do you guys think about this? The founder takes a break. What's the first thought that comes to mind? And some people nailed it. Some One person said publicity stunt. Another person said Charlie Lee. Shout out to CryptoFit. Yeah, she pretty much nailed it. That was my first thought. Like they, 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 They're smart enough to know, they, as in people that have been in crypto for an extended period of time, they're smart enough to know that when your crypto that you're involved in sees exponential gains, guess what happens? They're taking profits. He never said, he never said, I didn't sell any DGB. He point is, he took profits, guys. He took profits. You have to take profits. The creators do it, people that have been in crypto. After people have been in crypto for an extended period of time, they figure out, you know what? There's there's epic pumps. And look at let's look at the history of DGB. Look at this pump. Epic pump. People bought this. People bought up here. Pulls back. Pulls back. Pullbacks are normal. Epic pump. Huge pullback, epic pump, epic pump, pullback, epic pump. Guess what's about to happen? Jared Tate says, deuces, I'm going on vacation. I just sold the top. I don't blame him. Like I can't, how can you blame somebody for getting money, right? I mean, he took his profits. Peter McCormick came out on Twitter and, and basically came up with a quote from Andreas Antonopoulos that included the idea of the banking cartels. And we almost never hear the word cartel in the association with banks. That in itself should tell you something. If you want to know who has power over you, and that's just it. Like if you have control of somebody's maybe freedom of speech, okay, you can still survive, but you control somebody's money, you have all the power. You, you control the money supply, you have all the power. So just remember, the real Kiyosaki came out. And I don't know if you've watched this gentleman, Robert Kiyosaki. He's got a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's pretty amazing because, you know, he had two dads. One was a, was a rich dad and, and didn't go to college, right? He became a business owner and very successful. And his other dad, his poor dad, you know, immediately went to work for a corporation and he was poor. You know, so once we fall into that trap thinking, hey, we need to work for somebody else. We need to make somebody else rich. We need, well, that's what we're doing. Like essentially, as soon as you start taking these, these payments, these, these paychecks, from an employer, you're, you're basically making other shareholders, stockholders, CEOs, other people, you're making them rich. So I would definitely encourage you guys, like if you have a dream that you've been thinking of or, or, or something that you've been working for, continue to do that, push yourself, push yourself to the extremes. But if you, there's a way to start a little side situation where you're able to work, you know, your regular job and for yourself, you know, I definitely encourage everybody to start their own business. New York City going broke, he stated. All cities count on income tax, sales tax, real estate taxes, pension contributions for teachers, firefighters, police. The United States is going broke. Fed is printing fake money. Get gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Save yourself. Save yourself. 
Digital Euro sees first successful test at the Bank of France. Listen, digital dollar is going to come soon. The digital euro is going to make the United States say, hmm, we better step it up. We better keep up. Shopify adds cryptocurrency payments for merchants. Again, mainstream adoption happening right before our eyes. IBM joins 12 banks backing blockchain startup WeTrade. This involves banks like UBS, Deutsche Bank, HSBC. These are huge banks, huge. IBM's involved. IBM, blockchain, these traditional corporations are crypto's biggest competition. So there's all this infighting nonsense that happens in cryptocurrency. It's frustrating because everybody's like, my crypto is better than your crypto. Well, what you need to be worried about is IBM, period. Seven years of imprisonment for buying Bitcoin is what authorities may give in Russia. Not good news for Bitcoin. Man, Russia trying to ban Bitcoin. Is that what they got going on? They're thinking about tightening the rules on cryptocurrency usage in the country. So I'll keep you updated on this. Binance aims to create one of the world's largest blockchain-based travel agencies. So Binance essentially acquired booking platform Travala. Travala has been merged with Binance-backed crypto-friendly flight booking portal Travel Bybit. The first step of the merger, the two companies are going to cross-market their offerings. At a later date, they aim to build an agency that would allow users to book from over 2 million hotels and 600 airlines. Travala, they definitely, I, I talked to you guys about them yesterday, they hit an all-time high recently. So that definitely be something to put on your map. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.